What's up guys, this is Mike, aka Mike the Jeepster. Uh, today's video is going to be about this 12,000 pound winch. Uh, earlier this year I did do a video about it, but that video pretty much explained how, um, how I received it, uh, how I mounted on my bumper, um, but it didn't really explain how I ran the wires. And uh, I know I was going to explain how I did my in-cab winch control too. Um, but I'll, post, I'll post a link in my uh, description. Um, and you could look at that video too if you guys have any questions on that just let me know um, but pretty much uh, here's the winch it's a 12,000 pound winch from extreme terrain um, and I got a real good deal on it I pretty much got it for free um, and again like I said the link in my description will let you know how I received it anyways let's get started alright guys so wiring up a winch is pretty easy um, Extreme Terrain made it real easy where it's just pretty much color coded. Now the module, uh, you pretty much mount it on the winch, um, but the wires that hook up to the terminal on the winch itself, you run those into the module, and then from the module you run your wires into the uh, engine bay, which I'll show you here in a bit how that hooks up. But anyways, obviously the red will wire up here into the module. Uh, on your positive and from the positive terminal it will go into your engine bay to the red on the uh, positive of the battery and then same thing with the negative of the module you run that into the engine bay to the negative on the battery now on my setup here I ran an extra wire this wire is what came in the kit from 12 volt guy um, I'll leave a link in the description from this guy uh, that sells complete kits for in cab winch control and I'll leave that in there and you can take a look at it pretty much it's, it explains how you hook everything up and how you hook it up to the module um, so let's get started I'll show you the inside right now um, and uh, inside of the, 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 the module alright guys so as soon as you get the wire into the engine bay just pretty much find a route um, to your battery for my, for my application, I just ran it here in front of the, uh, well, I ran it through the grill, and I just came above the fil the uh, air filter here in front of it, and then ran it uh, behind the, uh, the fuse box here to the side of it, and then ran it to my battery. Obviously, the red wire goes on your positive terminal on the battery, and then the black wire goes on the negative on the negative terminal on the battery. Now, again, in my application, uh, I have an extra wire here. Uh, that's the one that goes to, to the uh, in-cab winch control. It's a wire from 12 volt guys, um, and right here, pretty much, I just ran it above here, um, above my engine there, um, and then just zip tied it to existing wires. And then down there, above the driver's side, there's actually a hole there, which is the existing wires that go inside. I just use a, I just poked a hole through there, ran my wire in there into the cab, and I show you a bit how it looks in there. Um, anyways, I opened up my module here, the winch module, and as you can see on this side here. Um, this is the wire that comes with the kit. Um, it's all labeled and colored, uh, coded, um, and labeled uh, too. So that's the reason why I like I uh, like this uh, kit that came from 12 volts, 12 volt guy. I'm sorry. Um, and I'll show you a picture of uh, what I uh, pretty much went by um, right now. And those pictures, like I said, it helped me a lot to uh, pretty much uh, wire this the right way. Uh, but if you have any questions about it, just let me know and I could explain a little bit better. Um, but anyways, so that's the setup there I have. Uh, real easy setup, like I said. Um, if you guys have any questions on that, let me know. Um, so let's go ahead and go inside my cab and show you guys how that looks. All right, guys. So this is the inside of my Jeep, um, my inside of the cab. Now the lining, the light in here is kind of weak. Um, I'm working inside my garage, so sorry about that. But anyways, uh, as you can see here, the kit also comes with this little switch here. Um, I placed it here. Now you could put this um, switch anywhere on your cab. Um, the reason I put it in here because um, it was flat, and uh, I didn't really, I was not, I was not going to do anything with this part of it. So I just, you know, let me put it in here. I just drilled a little small hole. Uh, it tells you what size hole you you, you do. Um, and then pretty much like took the wire out and just hood it, put it here. It was easy. Um, but anyway, you can put, like I said, you can put this anywhere you want to. Um, now again, 
as you can see let me just focus in here a little bit uh, as you can see it has the in and out so when you turn it on you just flip the switch it engages the winch and then you could do in or out and whatever you want to do and it comes in like I said ran the wire into the engine bay to the bottom there and then ran into the switch that's pretty much it real easy real easy diagram like I said all color coded the harness uh, comes co color coded too and it's like I said it's uh, just all pretty much plug and play so that's that's my in cab winch control and like I said guys uh, real easy setup for this Jeep here alright guys so that's pretty much it for today I'm gonna go ahead and leave my video there um, but before I leave I did want to mention to you guys that uh, I did use this uh, this uh, this winch twice um, the first time I used it was actually um, when I received it I used it on a tree just to make sure it worked because it did come damaged and stuff and it worked fine and my second time I used it was actually when I did get stuck um, out in trails and my brother winched me out um, I mounted it to my to his Jeep and I just pretty much winched myself out by using the in-cab winch control and the reason uh, I couldn't get out that time was because my four-wheel drive failed on me because I forgot to mount the uh, forgot to install the bracket that came with the four inch lift kit um, so yeah remember uh, remember to do <laughs> to install that because then you'll you won't be able to use your four-wheel drive so that's the only two times I did use it and like I said they work they work fine on both times um, so yeah um, next Monday guys I'm gonna have a a video of me and my brother just pretty much um, just hitting out the the trails uh, there's some there's a place down here near my home well not near my house but maybe a couple miles down down here uh, south um, towards Galveston where um, we want to hit um, and uh, he has like I said he wants to try out his uh, his four his uh, four inch lift that he recently installed so I'll probably have some videos of that. If not, it'll be some other videos about um, um, Jeep stuff. So I'll go ahead and leave the video there. So again, guys, uh, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. Um, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Every Monday, there'll be a new video. So um, keep tuned to that, and I'll see you next Monday. All right, guys, see you later.